What is up YouTube, it is Raphael here from XX Raphael Productions. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to transfer your entire music library onto another PC. So let's assume that you have a new computer and you want to transfer your large music library, but you just don't want to like import them all one by one again. So I have a bunch of songs over here saved up on my Mac and what I'm going to do is show you how to do this. So it's actually pretty simple. Um, let's go ahead and pick any song. It doesn't really matter. Pick any song you want. I'll pick Thunderstruck as an example. And let's go show in Finder, all right? So click that. And let's go ahead and right click the MP3 file and click Get Info. And with this, we are able to find the directory. So look for under general, look for where, all right? Here we are able to find where our music files are stored. So in my case, in my MacBook Pro, it's stored underneath my home folder, then the music folder, and then the media folder. So I have it already set up. I already navigated to it in mine. So you should see a folder called media. All right, or, or something like that. It, and once you click on it to confirm that it's the same folder, click on it and you should see all your albums, all, all your music artists. Let's go ahead and go open Black Sabbath, for example. You should see all of the albums like right there. So what we're gonna do basically is, this is the folder we have to worry about. So in my case, I've already made my own zip file. This is the way I transfer my music files. I just, e I either email the zip file or put it on a USB. And the way to do this, let's go ahead and show you, is just go to right click, oops, I'm sorry. Right click the folder and compress the media file. Now, that is only if you want to make it a zip file. If not, you can just also drag the entire folder in the USB. It doesn't matter how you decide to do it, but just as long as you are able to just to, um, put all these folder, the, all these files in a certain area. It's okay, so then we can move over to the other computer. Okay, so here we go. Um, Assuming that you have a different laptop now, well, this is actually the same laptop for me. I just erased my entire music library. So this is how it should look like if you're on a new computer. You will have no music, but this should also apply on Windows, okay? So I'll show you how to add it on your Mac, but let's go ahead and show you. So right now I am simply have my music library all set in a new folder and I'm gonna go ahead and extract that right now, okay? Just so that I can demonstrate how to add the songs. So my music library, if you remember, was, was big, okay? So I'm gonna skip ahead to when this bar, um... All right, so here we go. Um, I had to stop because it, it took a bit. But here is the folder once you've got extracted. So like I said before, it doesn't matter the way you transfer it to your other laptop or not, just as long as you are able to do it somehow, all right? So once you've done that, you're gonna go to File, go to Import. And now we can navigate to uh, the folder where I saved it. So in my case, that was my home folder. And then it was my, my iTunes songs, all right? So now we can click on the folder, and so just don't don't click any of this, not the um, not any of the al of the music artists. Just simply click on the folder media, which is what we extracted earlier. Click on that after navigating to it, and click open. There we go. Once it's been once it's done that, it will automatically add in your songs. All right, so it will take probably a few minutes for it to add everything so quit and simply reopen all right and there you go so like i said before assuming that everything has worked out your album your album artist's pictures should also be back up and at the same time you have successfully transported your songs onto a new computer all right so this is very helpful let's say like you bought a new macbook pro or let's say you wanted to switch to windows for example this is a method you can do, and you can also do this as well. It doesn't really matter if you're using a, like, let's say, um, it doesn't really matter if you're using a different iTunes, like, like, let's say you're in Windows, the same settings should still be there, just simply go to File, and then Import, and that, that should work, alright? So, yeah, thank you very much for watching, that is how you transfer your entire music library onto another computer. So, Raphael out, and I will see you soon.